You ever had a problem with your 318, uh, the RPMs increasing drastically after about 15, 20, 30 minutes of mowing? Most likely you have a fly ball spacer problem. Uh, this series of videos, um, I've done some videos on this in the past, uh, but this series of videos will basically be showing the problem, uh, showing what causes it, and then we'll do the repair. Um, the repair actually should only take you, um, if you've never removed an engine from a 318 before, it should probably only take you probably six hours. Um, I'll probably get through it in four or five um, throughout the course of, of a couple days. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause this video and I'm going to start the 318 up and then I'm going to start the video again. Um, I'm not going to just sit here and wait for it to, to happen, but I'm going to try to get it on video uh, to actually show when the RPMs increase. So I'm just going to sit in the seat for a little while and see when the RPMs run away. Alright, so hopefully in the previous part of the video, um, I captured the increase in RPMs, or at least it, hopefully it, it came through on the video, there was an increase. Um, but I want to show you what happens. Now I've gone over the different camshafts before, or the cam gears, flyball spacers before. Uh, if I, I'll, I'll probably put a link to that video uh, back, back when I was rebuilding uh, the B, uh, B43G. Um, I'll try to put a link to that video in the description. But basically, um, this fly ball space right here, that well white thing, um, there's, and I'll, I'll take this apart and I'll show it to you uh, in a future video. Um, 
But what what happens is this fly ball spacer right here starts to spin inside the, the cam gear. And how the, the whole system works is this, this little cup right here obviously has that little indention right there. And as the 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 balls right now they're sitting in there's three or five um, ball bearings in there basically and right now they're sitting in that groove just centripetal force pushes those balls out the faster the engine goes that then because this is sloped down will push this cup out that cup then sits it presses right here this right there moves in and out that then presses on the uh, governor shaft that is housed in the timing cover the timing cover basically the governor shaft goes up and that's what limits the throttle um, basically it pulls back the throttle uh, from when you throttle forward um, and I'll, tr I'll try to show those inner workings on top of the engine etc but what will happen is, is it, normally they're red um, in the B43Gs, they are steel. Um, I don't exactly know when they went to these tab spacers, the, or the tab flyball spacers, um, but the, ta the little cutout exists far before the, the tab spacers exist. So for a long time they were just red plastic spacers that set in there. Well over time what happens is they come loose after the tractor gets hot the flyball spacer starts to spin on that shaft. Well when it starts to spin on the shaft basically those balls will descend back into this little groove right here and the ability, the engine doesn't have the ability to govern itself as well as it did previously. There's still some governing ability because obviously the the flyball spacer is not spinning at the same speed the camshaft is. Um, so there, there are some there's some limitations there and and hopefully the the sound came through on the video but that's what causes the problem so what we're going to do is I'm actually I've had this camshaft sitting on a shelf for a long long time uh, for some reason it says uh, it's a 10 of 86 and so I'm not really sure I'm not thinking this cup is original to this cam gear because this cam gear in 86 should not even have this little cutout in I don't think anyway um, so what we're going to do is sometime in the next couple weeks I am going to take the hood and everything else off of this machine and we're going to take the engine out and uh, I got to take the deck off etc. We're going to take the engine out and then uh, we're going to pull all the tin off the engine we're going to pull the flywheel off, pull the timing cover off and uh, we're, going to re we're going to repair the flyball spacer. Now one really important thing here um, that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to proceed um, is I may go ahead and decarbon the engine. Um, I, I will measure compression before I take it out because if there's not, not much compression then it might be one of those things that I'll just we'll go ahead and I'll put new rings in it or something. I'm not sure if I want to go that far or, or I have the time to do that. So anyway that's how you diagnose a RPM problem or flyball spacer problem on a 318. My very first 318 I bought, I still have it. Unfortunately, I don't have the original engine, um, but had that same problem, and I think that's why um, the guy that I bought it from, who, was a, who originally bought it in April of 88, I think that is why he sold it. So, anyway... Um, hopefully this will be an informative series and help some people out. Uh, so, thanks for watching.